$100 million in, in, food, uh, in funding for food assistance to help states administer the program. Let's go to the next one. I promise not to have too many commercials here about the Republican <laughs> <laughs> I'm getting stuff off my chest that I can talk about. That's okay. Uh, safety net spending. Could, uh, according to um, Mark Sandy, this is very important for people to uh, talk more about. Uh, direct spending on safety net, safety net programs are more effective than cutting taxes in terms of stimulating economic growth. Now, there aren't many Americans who have seen this information on a regular basis. Let's go through it. First of all, in terms of bang for the buck, you spend public dollars, what do you get back for spending that buck, okay? Spend a buck on unemployment insurance, you get a buck 64 in return. Spend a buck on general aid to state government, and you get, uh, my number, my 173 back, right? Spend a buck on, uh, uh, on a temporary increase in, in food stamps, and you get 136, okay. And then, then it goes from there in terms of all the other expenditures, whether it's cutting the corporate tax rate, making the Bush tax cut permanent, permanent dividend and capital gains cuts. You literally don't get the return um, <coughs> as you do with unemployment insurance, aid to state uh, government, and uh, increase in, in food stamps. Look, look, I could argue against, I, yeah, or bonuses, yeah, for, for, uh, yeah, for the wealthy, right? The bankers. Um, I could argue against the tax cuts for other reasons, why they were reckless, why they were, fis why, why, why they were fiscally irresponsible. But this argument about what you get back in spending, in spending a buck, is very significant. Now, let's remember who Mark Sandy is. He's a Pennsylvanian. That's a good thing. He actually provided advice to John McCain's presidential campaign. So this isn't some, like, guy we keep in a Democratic think tank in a corner and just kind of feed him our information. He's someone who tries to give broad uh, perspectives, and I think we, uh, we, can, we can say that uh, even folks who aren't Democrats can agree that uh, that's a pretty significant analysis. Let's go to the next one. Uh, this is just about, uh, about uh, infrastructure. The recovery bill uh, provided uh, a billion, as I said before, to Pennsylvania for infrastructure, <laughs> which is uh, transportation, water, broadband, a whole range of things. The next steps in terms of what we do next, we need to figure out whether or not we do more infrastructure in 2010 or early, or whether we focus just on the jobs issue uh, itself and not do infrastructure. I think there's a lot of support for additional infrastructure spending. That's something we'll have to debate. Uh, let me go to the next one. Uh, small businesses. Uh, targeted and temporary tax cuts to help small business, uh, whether it's elimination of uh, capital gains on small business, deduction of qualified capital expenses, uh, targeted and temporary tax incentives like a tax credit for increasing payroll. That's my idea, so I'm going to push it very hard. We announced that yesterday. It's a one-year uh, proposal. Uh, it is very limited in the sense that uh, you can only uh, count the first 50000 of the uh, particular employee or the, the, the particular employee's income. Uh, it limits what a, a large business can get, meaning more than 100 employees. That's our definition of the bill, or the proposal of a, of a large business. But I, I think we should consider a very targeted and focused job creation strategies. Even if the recovery bill works uh, flawlessly, as we know it won't, no legislation does, but even if it works flawlessly, I think we still need some very specific job creation strategies. One of them is one that would give uh, a tax credit for increasing payroll. Uh, plenty of other ideas on the table that uh, Democrats and Senators are working on when we go back. We have already worked on them. We need to actually put them in, in bill language. Uh, SBA loans, very important. And whether or not we use uh, TARP lending for, as a pool for small business. 